I did want to spend most of my time on this equity issue because uh, I think I've spoken to some of my colleagues, I've spoken to you, Dr. Gales, you know, I pressed the Lieutenant Governor and General Burkhead over the weekend uh, at the Kingdom Fellowship event where they took 100 doses with a partnership with Holy Cross and vaccinated mostly African American community in, the, in a very high impacted zip code. And while that's great, I said, Lieutenant Governor, you need to de declare racism a public health emergency. <laughs> you need to give us a mass vaccination site. You need to have an equity plan um, that uh, reflects those two prior things. Um, and we can't wait. And I said the same thing to General Burkhead. And I'm, I'm told that there will be an, some sort of equity plan coming out this week uh, in, in writing from, from the administration. I hope so. It's, it's you know, what, very late. Um, but I just wanted to let you know, I think that we just continue to keep the pressure on. Um, the other thing I wanted to bring up, I do think we are on the cutting edge and what we have done, as you have demonstrated through data, is helping uh, to have better numbers and, far, and reach communities that are hit harder. Uh, I brought this up before, but I think we need to go a step further. Uh, I think we need to explicitly open up by race at younger ages. I just think it's the only way we're going to get the numbers up. If you want to send a message to, message to our Black and Latino community about the need to pre-register, open it up to people who are younger by five or 10 years. Black residents are dying 10 years sooner due to this virus. We have higher rates of death. And if you focus just on age, you're going to get what we get. And we're doing slightly better because we have the zip code overlay. But I think we've got to go further. Um, you're going to get white residents getting the vaccination sooner and dying at lower rates. And that's what's happening across the country. And I, I would just, as we move, so we're at 75 and plus now, I think we should be at 65 for the black community. Most black residents don't live to 75. The Latino communities are right in the middle. I think they should be at least at 70 when we're at 75. Um, and you guys can figure out the, the, the uh, you know, how to cut it. The legal legality on this is not 100% clear, but we're dying and we're not getting vaccinated. And so I'd love, you know, I'd, I'd love someone to challenge it. We've already declared racism a public health crisis uh, here in this county. We need to do this. And this doesn't get better. 45 to 54 year old black people die much higher rate than 65 to 75 white residents from COVID. So we have to continue this down. And I think this would be a, a step we can take, not without risk, but we know there's a ton of risk and death and cases and everything we're seeing. Um, and I think there's, there's, there's a, there is a, a, a case to be made for this. I know I've spoken to you about it, Dr. Gales and others. Uh, and I would just like to have you all comment on that. I think we have to take this step. It's another way to attack both the hesitancy issue, but also to push the state to have a real equity plan. And uh, last thing I'll say, and I want you to respond to this. You know, when Dallas tried to do, Dallas County tried to do what we've done in Texas and move to a zip code analysis, their state in a racist act said, we're gonna reduce your doses unless you get rid of that plan. I think at a much more, uh, you know, uh, kind of hidden way, we're getting that treatment by Governor Hogan and his team. We are doing things and he's saying no mass, mass vaccination site. Uh, he's saying, we're not, we're not gonna give you more doses. And so, and we don't have an equity plan. So I think we need to continue to push. Uh, so I, that's my message to them. But my message to us is, is this something we're considering? Will we consider it? And, and, I, and I obviously strongly think we should. 